Huh. You know, I've just noticed that I haven't built a new kit for about almost two months now. So why not build a new one? Uh, I'm finally part of the cool kids. Everybody's been building the high grade aerial except me. So I guess it's time for me to uh, join the party. Quick unboxing here. I always do unboxing. That's just my thing, but we'll never do ASMR. That's, that's not, that's just, no, <laughs> not me, not me. I've already taken the runners out of the plastic bag, so I don't have to make that plastic cringy sound. Ugh. But you get one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven runners along with a sticker and uh, the manual so i'm kind of excited i've been hearing a lot of good things about the high grade line of the witch of mercury i've only built one of them which is the daryl balde and i heard through the great vines that the ariel is one of the best kits that the high grade line have to offer in terms of the witch of mercury so I'll be back. I'm gonna go build this thing here and then uh, we'll go from there, you know. I'm just gonna quickly go over the usual stuff of what you can do with a kit. And um, hopefully this is an awesome build. I don't do reviews. All I do is go over what I think you could do with a kit. All right, I'll be back. This is perhaps the single best high grade I've ever built. From freaking uh, like the look, to the details, to the build itself. I just don't have any words for it. I would like to say that the Penelope was the best high grade kit I've ever built. And I'm basing it all off of looks. I don't really care about articulation that much until I built this kit. I mean, it is, this thing is freaking sturdy for a high grade kit. Look, I mean, look, I'm shaking it like a lot and it's like not moving. What, what is this? What, is, I mean, it's gonna move, right? Like if, like everything in life, if you like really force it, it's gonna move, but look, look. Still freaking sturdy as hell after all that shaking and to top it off it looks great this is like the details for a high grade kit at least for me it's freaking ridiculous that was my quick review of the kit okay now let's go over what i think you can do with a kit all you really have to do with this build here is just rescribe it and i think you'll be all right it will look like you did a lot to it and then all you gotta figure out now after that is your color separation and your color placement. There's so much detail to it, right? And uh, the part separations are insane for a high grade kit. These are like separate parts. Usually on the old high grade kits that you'll ever build before this is um, these parts here will be just one part, right? This yellow, gray, and the white. That will be like one part. You just snap them together and then they just tell you to uh, hope to God that you're good with um, masking. Not this one. This is separate parts there. Even this thing here, like the little freaking this knee part here, this side part here, there, that's a separate part, which is like crazy. Let me zoom in in there and shine a better light. I mean, dude, this, this kit here is impressive. The amount of detail on here, you don't have to do much to it if you're one of those, if if you're a budding, customizing uh, beginner like me, because the details are already there. You, it's either you just leave it alone and then just paint it, right? And or like learn how to do masking. Because all the freaking details that are in there already, you can just choose to mask it. Like meaning, when I say that, meaning like, I'll use this as an example, right? This freaking skirt armor here. They make it seem like there's two parts in there, but it's not. That's just a scribed in detail that came with the kit already. All you literally gotta do is 
put a masking tape in there and then that's how you do your masking. You know, and there's plenty of parts in there, like the chest, you can do the same thing on the chest there. You know, you can do multiple masking here and there to, you know, have different colors. I don't know if you could see that. Let me see here. Let me look at my camera here. Boom, all right, I can see better. I mean, like right there. I mean, come on, dude. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. There's endless possibilities when it comes to like color separation with this build. I didn't even use the stickers that came with the kit. This is probably the first time I've ever built a high grade kit where I believe that using the stickers that came with a build where it's actually gonna complement it. So these stickers here goes to parts on the legs and I believe the shoulders and the, uh, I wanna say the, the head. So it adds in more details to the build. So besides having all the details that the kit came with already, you're gonna have more details by using the sticker. This kit simply is one of the best high grade kits that you can buy when you're first getting into customizing your build because it's very friendly to beginners. You don't have to do anything to it to make it look cool. All you really have to do with it is just paint it. It's like having a real grade kit to practice on your color separation and color uh, placement without having to pay a premium price. All right, so that's it for me. It's been a while since I've done a noobs perspective video anyways. And I'm glad that this was the kit that I picked to build after not building a new kit for like, I wanna say like two, almost three months. That's it for me. I'm gonna be building more kits for now. I'm currently on build mode right now because I wanna do some kind of uh, kit bashing. I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So I'm hoping that by building more high grade kits, I could come up with something to uh, do some kind of kit bash. I hope you guys enjoy that. Come back uh, if you want to watch more news perspective. I mean, these videos are not for reviewing. This is just me going over what I think you could do with a kit when it comes to uh, doing your own customs and stuff. You know, just those suggestions here and there. But that's it for me. Subscribe if you like. Everybody stay safe and thank you for watching. Peace out.